four cocks which which come from any distance are almost always favorites for the theory is the man will not have doubted to bring it if it was not a good cock the more so the further has has he has come his followers are of course ob obliged to support him and when the more grand scale legal cockfights are held on holidays and so on the people of the village take what they regard to be the best cocks in the village regardless of ownership and go off to support them although they will almost certainly have to give odds on them and to make large bets to show that they are not a sheep state a sheep sheepskate village actually such away games though though infrequent infra, though infrequent tend to mend the ruptures between village members that the that the constantly occurring uh, home games where village factions are op opposed are rather than united exacerbate five almost all matches are sociologically relevant you seldom get two outsiders cock outsider cocks fighting or two cocks with no particular group backing or with group backing which is mutually unrelated in any clear way when you do get when you do get them the game is very shallow betting very slow and the whole thing very dull with no with no one save with no one save immediate principles and an addy gambler or two at all interested by the same token you rarely get two cocks from the same group even more rarely from the same sub faction and virtually never from the same sub, -fac sub faction which will be in most cases one extended fam family fighting similarly in outside village fights two members of the village will rarely fight against one another even though as bitter rivals they will do so with enthusiasm so their home grounds seven on the virtual level people involved in an institutionalized hostility relationship call it puik in which they do not speak or otherwise have anything to do with each other the causes of this formal break breaking of relations are many wife's kept wife capture inheritance arguments political differences will bet very he heavily sometimes almost maniac maniacally against one another in what is a frank and direct attack on the very masculinity the ultimate ground of his status of the opponent Eight, the center bet coalition is in all but the shallowest games always made up by structural allies no outside money is involved what is outside depends upon the context of course but given it no outside money is mixed in with the, the main bet if the principles cannot raise it it is not made the center bed again especially in deeper games is thus the more direct and open expression of social opposition which is which is one of the reasons why why both in an bolded and matchmaking are surrounded by such an air of unease furtiveness embarrassment and so on nine the rule about the rule about borrowing money that you may borrow for a bet but not in one steams and the balinese are quite conscious of this from similar considerations you are never at the economic mercy of your enemy that way gambling bets which can get quite large on a rather short-term basis are always to to friends never to enemies structurally speaking then 
When two cogs are structurally relevant or neutral so far as you are concerned, though as mentioned they almost never are to each other, you do not you do not even ask a relative or a friend whom he is betting on, because if you know how he is betting and he knows and he knows you and he knows you know and you'd go the other way it will lead to strain. This rule is explicit and rigid, fairly elaborate, even rather artificial pre precautions are taken to avoid breaking it. At the very least, you must pretend not to notice what he is doing and he what you, and he what you are doing. 11. There is a special word for betting against the grain, which is also the word for pardon me, Pura. It is considered a bad thing to do, though if the center bet is small, it is sometimes all right as long as you do you do not do uh, you, you do not do it too often. But the larger the bet And the more frequently you do it, the more the pardon me tag will lead to social disruption. In fact, the institutional institutionalized hostility relation PUIC is often formally initiated, though its causes always lie elsewhere. But such a pardon me bet in a deep fight, putting the symbolic fat in the fire. Similarly, the end of such a relationship and resumption of formal social intercourse is often signa signalized, but again, not actually brought about by one or the other of the enemies supporting the other's beard. 13. In, in sticky cross-loyalty situations of which In this extraordinarily complex social system, there are, of course, many where a man is caught between two more or less equally balanced loyalties. He tends to wander, wander off for a cup of coffee of, or something to avoid having to bed, a form of behavior reminiscent of that of American voters in similar situations. 14. The people involved in the center bed are especially in deep fights, virtually always leading members of their group, kinship, village or whatever. Further, those who bet on the side, including these people, are, as I have already remarked, the more established members of the village, the solid citizens. Cockfighting is for those who are involved in the everyday politics of prestige as well, Not for you, women, subordinates, and so forth. 15. So far as money is concerned, the explicitly expressed attitude toward it is that it is, it is that it is in a secondary matter. It is not, as I have said, of, imp of, imp of no importance. Balinese are no happier to lose several weeks' income that, than anyone else. But they mainly look on the monetary aspects of the cockfight as self-balancing, a matter of, or, of just moving money around, circulating it among a fairly well-defined group of serious cockfighters. The really important wins and losses are seen mostly in the other, in the other terms. And the general attitude toward waggering is not any hope of cleaning up of making a killing, addict gamblers again accepted, but that of the horse pl players are players players prayer. Oh God, please let me break ev break even. In prestige terms, however, you do not want to break even, if but in a mon in, in a momentary, punctuate sort of way will win utterly. The, the talk which goes on all the time is about, is about fights against such and such a cock of so and so which your cock demolished. Not on how much you won. A fact, a fact people, even for, a, for large bets, rarely remember for any length of time. 
Though they will be remembered the day they, they did in Panlog's, Panlog's finest cock for years. 716. You must bet on cocks of your own group aside from mere loyalty considerations. For for it you do not you do not people generally will say for it f for if you do you do not people generally will say what is he too proud for the likes the likes of us does he have to go to Java or then Pasar the capital town to bed he is a, he is such an important man. Thus, thus there is a general pressure to bet only to show that you are important locally, but that you are not important, that you look look down on everyone else as unfit even to be rivals. Similarly, home teams people must bet against outside cocks or the outsiders will accuse them a serious charge of just collecting entry fees and not really being interested in cockfighting, as well as again being arrogant and ins insulting. 17. Finally, the Balinese peasants themselves are quite aware of all this and, 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 and can end at least to an ethnographer to the state most of it in approximately the same terms as I have fighting cock, fighting cocks, almost every Balinese I have ever discussed the subject with has said, with has said, is like playing with fire only not getting burned. Your your active village and king group rivalries and hostilities, but in play form coming dangerously and entrancingly. Do Intrinsically close to the expression of open and direct interpersonal and intergroup aggression, something which again almost never happens in the normal course of ordinary life, but but not quite because after all it is only a cockfight. More observation of this sort of the sort could be advanced, but perhaps the general point is. If not made at least well delineated, and the whole argument thus far can be usefully summarized in a formal paradigm. The more a match is one between near status equal and or personal enemies, two between high status individuals. The deeper the match, the deeper the match, one the closer the identification of cock and man, or more properly, the deeper the match, the more the man will advance his best, most closely identify with cock. 2. The finer the cocks involved and the more exactly they will be matched. 3. The greater the emotion that will be involved and the more the general absorption in the match. 4. The higher the individual bets, center and out, center and outside, the shorter the outside bets odds will tend to be, and the more betting there will be will be overall. Five. The less an economic and the more a status view of gambling will be involved involved, and the sol solider the citizens who will be gaming. Inverse arguments hold for the shallower the, f the shallower the fight, culminating in a reversed sign sense in the coin spinning and the dice throwing am amusements. For for deep fights, there are no absolute upper limits, though there are, of course, practical ones. And there are a great, a great many legend-like tales of great duel in the sun, comebacks between lords and princes in classical times. For cockfighting has always been as, as much an elite concern as a popular one. 
far deeper than anything anyone, even aristocrats, could produce today anywhere in Bali. Indeed, one of the great cultural heroes of Bali is a prince called after his passion for the sport, the cockfighter, who happened, who happened to be away at a very deep cockfight with a neighboring prince when the whole of his family, father, brothers, wives, sisters, were assassinated by commoner, commoner usurpers. Thus spirit, he returned to dis dispatch the, the upstar, regain the throne, reconstitute the Balinese high tradition and build its most powerful, glorious and prosperous state. Along with everything else that the Balinese see in fighting cocks themselves, their social order, abstract ha hatred, masculinity, demonic power, they also see the archetype of status virtue, the arrogant, resolute, honor mad, player with real fire, the Exatria Prince. Fat feeders, blood, crowds and money. Poetry makes nothing happen. Auden says in says in his elegy of yet it survives in the valley it it survives in the valley of its saying a way of happening a mouth the cockfight too in this colloquial sense makes nothing happen men men go on al aleatorically humiliating ones one another and being allegorically humiliated by one another Day after day, glorying quietly in the ex experience, if they have triumphed, crushed only slightly more openly by it, by it, if they are, have not. But no one's status will really change. You cannot ascend the status ladder by winning cockfights. You cannot, as an individual, really ascend it at all nor can you descend it that way. All you can do is enjoy and savor or suffer and withstand the con con concocted a sensation of drastic and momentary movement along an aesthetic sem semblance of that ladder. A king of be behind the mirror status jump, which has the look of mobility without his its actuality. Like any art, art for, like any art form, for for that finally is what we are dealing with. The cockfight renders ordinary everyday experience comprehensible by presenting it in terms of acts and objects which have had their practical consequences removed and being reduced, or if you prefer, raise it to the level of sheer appearances where the meaning can be more powerfully articulated and more exactly perceived. The cockfight is really real only to the cocks. It does not kill anyone castrate anyone, reduce anyone to animal status, alter the hierar hierarchical relationship among relations among people of refashion the hierarchy. It does not even redistribute income in any significant way. What it does it wa what is it does is what for other peoples with other temperaments the and other conventions leer and crime and punishment do. It caches up the these themes, dead masculinity, rage, pride, loss, benef beneficence, change, chains, chains, and ordering them into an encompass encompassing structure presents presents them in a such a way in such a way as to throw it throw into relief a particular view of their essential nature. It puts a construction of, on them, makes them to those historically positioned to appreciate the construction, 
meaningful, meaningful, visible, tangible, graspable, real in an ideation, ideational sense, an image, fiction, a model, a metaphor. The Gokfai is a is a means of expressions of expression. Its function is neither to assuage social passions nor to hate them, to hate them, them. Though it is playing with the fire with fire way, in in its playing with fire way, it does a bit of both. But in a medium of fitters, blood, crowds, and money to display them.